Hey, hey, Wargamers, how are you? Max uh, from Malaga Wargames with another update from my work in progress. Uh, yesterday I was uh, inspired and I started to uh, get to the next level uh, miniatures that I already painted, but most of them there were just a uh, few base codes and uh, little highlights. For example, I start working on this uh, defiler that two days ago I saw them in well, two days ago. Actually, I don't know if it was two days ago, but that's work in progress. Uh, it was just uh, base codes done, uh, really tiny things, uh, small details like uh, the lens and something else, and I used it to battle. I already used some. Uh, uh, sneaky hacks uh, from uh, the Citadel uh, Gloss uh, washers, the Rexland, the Angra Shade, and Null Oil Gloss. So it has this uh, shiny uh, color. And I started working out on uh, dry brushing uh, Necron compound in all the all the miniatures. So the metal are pumping up quite well. And also I start working on some. Uh, let me check I don't know if you can see with the gloss varnish. I need to make it math this. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the distance. Yeah, I think it's working. <sighs> One second. Auto. Alright. Yeah, natural light, you will see it. Some damage. Uh, I just make some sponge uh, with um, the. Uh, well, the sponge on the brass, to be honest. And I need to start working on the hard highlights of all this. So hopefully um, they will be quite okay. I will post uh, the end result of this one. Then I'm gonna show you my almost finished uh, Demon Prince. Oh, this falls. Okay, so this is my Demon Prince. I need to finish the armor. Because uh, I just did some uh, highlight on Celestial Grey, and I need to working on that. I wanna uh, make uh, the black armor um, have a good transition, and uh, need to finish the base and the sword. I make uh, him this uh, mask uh, like uh, from a, well, actually it looks like a gladiator. I painted on, on this scan because. I was a little bit uh, enjoying the, some uh, Marvel series, so yeah, I don't want all my Demon Prince. Uh, Demon Prince looks the same. Actually, I'm gonna try to work on the black armor and make the gold pop up on both of them because this is my old old model uh, from Metal One, and I just cut the base and uh, I wanna paint most of the bases, almost all the bases the same and the scheme, my new scheme from, from the base is gonna be from my molar thing which uh, buys, uh, I also uh, work a little bit on this one as well I, um, well I magnetize the, the guns I start working on highlights from red and uh, I use gloss varnish as well on, I mean gloss uh, washes, sorry to make the colors pop up, I need them when I finish, I will uh, cover everything with uh, uh, math varnish because I don't want these uh, miniatures being too shine. Because uh, otherwise, uh, with the light from the from the places that I'm playing, uh, they will be uh, annoying. It will be not appreciating the color. I need to work on the on the reds from the armor. I'm gonna do a sponging here uh, to make some. Sorry out of angle. Sponging here to do some uh, damage, some chipping. I'm gonna try to uh, put uh, some kind of logo there from mainly from corn will be. And um, that's all. Also I, I wanna try to put some transfers on the on the scorpion on the on the defiler. And uh, last but not least um, I'm gonna put the same color scheme on my Heldrake because uh, I have this old uh, easy way dry brass base so I want to put all this on uh, on uh, Rhinos height and uh, some grass as well and leave the cork as um, as stones and then I want to work on the on the reds because uh, I did this uh, dragon 
uh, th this Heldrick story, I make it um, fully with um, with brush and yeah, I mean on the camera looks okay, but close no. So I wanna working on the on the reds. So probably I'm gonna use some gloss as well to just make some transfers and uh, sponges, especially on the big holes, and make it a little bit more, you know, funny. And work again on the highlights because uh, I wanna take um, this uh, world eaters red corn corn diamond king army to the next level and I wanna just increase my my knowledge of painting because basically I have not much time to spare but um, when you start doing highlights on this on things like this if you to you have two or three miniatures then it's easier last thing I want to do is uh, changing my uh, three uh, Nurgle bikers, my Chaos Lord and my two sorcerers. That I already removed the sorcerers uh, bases. I have this uh, new Citadel bases. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. I wanna paint them. I'm gonna paint uh, them on the same uh, color skin than than the Nurgle ones. I mean the uh, other ones that I have, which by the way match with the table that I have at home. Just in case I wanna play uh, some battles or something, I'm gonna have. Uh, most of my armies with the same color of the table and on these ones I'm just gonna put some grass and maybe some uh, Nurgle drops uh, from uh, Nurgle Rotlin and uh, that's it nothing nothing too fancy because the, the bikes are already I mean are already cool so I don't need to decorate too much the the base and I have actually I have not, not much space to be honest so as a part of maybe putting some rocks some some grass or something like that it's not gonna be much fancy. Last thing I was working as well is uh, on my uh, the, the base from uh, Typhus. I wanted to try some um, uh, liquids uh, to make uh, like uh, like gel, you know, the um, still water from Vallejo, and I covered up with uh, silo tape and then I fill it. But it was a hole and the liquid get out. Anyway, it's still. Uh, a bright green. I can still uh, put some grass, use some Nurgling on the top and then try it again. You know, I'm just practicing new techniques, new things, so mistakes can happen. It's always better when this happen on a on a miniature that is not even on the on the base, but shit happens. So the end result should be something like this. You know, like uh, more, more pumping out the Nargulan greens, and uh, you know, more disgusting. And uh, that's all, guys. Easy, cheesy, and really short. Thanks for watching, and keep your date on another uh, get it painting or work in progress or whatever you want to call it. This scenario right now. I'm still thinking about if I'm gonna be able to match on Nick's uh, new project, which is the corner. Anyway. Check his channel, uh, he has great contents, he's producing videos every day, uh, nice uh, basic tutorials, nice extensive tutorials, uh, nice challenge for the Wargames community, he's given a shot about many, many channels that uh, they just started or maybe they were on low profile and nobody checked it out, so have a look on his channels and his advice, his advice, sorry. And also check it out the Legion of Ganza uh, members because uh, they are a huge nice community of YouTubers and they work each other and why not if you want check my other content I have uh, battle reports I have uh, as well a long progression of uh, getting painting challenge uh, with uh, all the updates and all the uh, things that I was uh, learning from uh, just practicing and making errors and also uh, have a look on uh, my painted tutorials that we just translate on English as well. It's a Spanish channel but we are covering as well dual language so you will find many videos in English as well. Thank you once again and see you soon. Happy Wargaming! Feel free to check the channel uh, for more content, battle reports and uh, painting tutorials. Please subscribe, comment and like it are making us to grow up and we really thank you for your uh, 
time. Once again, happy wargaming.